Good morning. Today is going to be a special day because we're going to the opening of the Food and Wine Festival over at Epcot. We're actually starting over here at the Caribbean Resort. We went to the Cabana, Cabana, Bana, Banana, Cabana. Banana, 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 Cabana, Banana. Cabana, Banana. So we went there first to kind of get our day started with a couple of drinks. So I got the Caribbean Mai Tai. It's one of the drinks that has the Disney Select single barrel rum in it. So you got to get one of those. Also got Bacardi Superior Rum, Bowls Orange Core Cow, some almond and lime juice. And Jessica got the Hoist the colors drink. That one has Cruzan mango and guava rum, Spoles blue curacao, and Minute Maid premium lemonade with pomegranate juice. Oh, that looks delicious too. So we're in line here for the Disney Skyliner to go over to Epcot. We're getting on the one that goes over from Riviera uh, instead of the official uh, Caribbean Beach one. I don't know if it's going to be better or not. The line's usually shorter for this one, but you have to wait for an empty car. Usually over at Caribbean Beach, it's a longer line, but all the cars are empty pretty much. So you're just kind of cycling pretty quick. So I don't know, maybe it's about the same. I don't know. Mm. What are you doing? All right, so we've made it into the official food and wine festival. We are officially fooding and whining right now with this cider flight for Jessica here at Appleseed Orchard in Canada. So we're gonna say this is Collective Arts Brewing Circling the Sun Hard Cider from Ontario, Canada. Original Sin Hard Cider Macintosh from New York, New York, and Blake's Hard Cider Company St. Cherie Bourbon Barrel Aged Cherry. Ooh. Anything with bourbon in it, it sounds good to me. So I called this one Circling the Sun, and I called this one the Aged Cherry, but I think uh, this is the Aged Cherry. Is it cherry. the other way around? Yeah. So I I'm mean, gonna, it might be this way. It right. could be this way. Let me try. Who, who are we, we to say? We only know the middle ones, right? So I'm going to taste this one first, because I think this one's the cherry one. Okay. It's kind of like, it's got a hint of sweet, but it's like dry, like a dry flavor, dry mm. taste. What is that one? Original Sin Hard Cider, mm. Macintosh. Oh, that one's good. This one's called Circling the Sun. Yeah, it's not cherry, so yeah. This one, I got them hmm. backwards. It's okay. This one's the sweetest sweet out of them. So it goes from sweet to dry. Sweetest sweet. to driest. Yes. Which James one's your favorite? I'm going to try some, too. Um, I think the second one, the Macintosh one from oh, the Original one? Sin. Well, we definitely know that one's right. JR, Apple Orchard. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's got an awesome waterfall, so that's it gets points for that. But also, see, once you come into Canada, it's down under the, the waterfall area. Underneath there, there's the Apple Orchard. But I gotta say, that was a, a pretty good start. But we got so much more to do. I guess we better get going. Next stop, we got a new booth here for 2021. This is the Noodle Exchange. Ooh, what do we got from the Noodle Exchange? Oh man. So we got some that beef looks like some, It's We got the pho. And the shrimp and coconut curry, or coconut and shrimp curry. Oh man. All of it looks delicious. Yeah. Really it's nice on a nice cool day like today. It's really good for these nice hot dishes like this. Mm. Nice hot savory dish. This and is the, uh, the beef pho. pho? A little beef, a little pho. <laughs> it's spicy. The noodle place is really good. Yeah. This is called the noodle. I feel like sprinkles. <laughs> this is pretty good. Mmm. Is it sprinkling? Nope. I gotta say, after trying both of them, the, the shrimp and the beef pho, the pho is pho pho better. Yes. But the shrimp's good. But. Oh. I'd eat this again, for sure. It is good. This hits the spot. Double thumbs up. Can you believe it? We made it over to the Swanky Saucy Swine. This is another new one here for 2021. Oh gosh, look at the Bloody Marys. That's a little bit of a doozy. They ain't messing around over here at the Swanky Swine Saucy place. That's a real smoke right there. Dang. That smells delicious. We didn't even get that. Sauce, saucy. Sink, swanky, saucy swine. Sink, <laughs> swanky, saucy swine. Right here is the Bloody Mary, and it's, well, bourbon Bloody Mary 
with Le Bro, I'm assuming, and Graham Woodford Reserve Bourbon Whiskey. Look at that bacon. That looks delicious. JR got the crispy barbecue pork rinds with pimento cheese. Taste that pimento, see how that is. Like pimento cheese? No. This right here is the roasted porchetta with pork fat, roasted rosemary, potatoes, and lemon parsley salsa verde. And then crispy pig ear salad with fire roasted tomatillo sauce, pickled red onions, queso fresco, roasted corn salsa, and avocado cream. And then James's drink is a Parish Brewing Company Sips Pinot Noir Black Currant Sour. And it's from Broussard, Louisiana. Yeah. That's our haul. And I've already had a sip of this and it's pretty good. That bacon looks good. Refreshing, but savory. But still savory. Yeah. yeah. So let's see. Is that the good stuff? Mm hmm. I mean, it is called pork fat, so you really can't go wrong. The crispy pork ear. Pork pig ear. Pig ear, pork salad. I mean, a pork pig, same thing, right? Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> I don't know where the ears are. Oh, there's like a jam or something inside of there. Not a fan. No? Nope. Oh no. It's a, something weird in there. It striking out. seems like it'd be good. I don't even think I can eat any more. <laughs> oh no. To me, it tastes a little like, I don't want to put anybody off, but like it reminds me of a bad night, right? the end of a bad night, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of what it reminds me of. It's probably great for somebody. Well, maybe we can wash it down with a bit of this here uh, black currant. Oh, that's good. Okay. That helps. Mm -hmm. That helps a lot. Oh uh, yeah, I would use that for mouthwash right there. And basically what I'm doing. That's a good one. Oh, that swanky, saucy uh, swine. I don't, that, that's a, it's a miss for us. We probably should have got the ribs. Everything else is kind of a miss, but maybe this is the thing that redeems it right here. Yes. This Bloody Mary. It's a bourbon Bloody Mary. Oh, yeah, it's good boy. itself. Let's see what this bacon is like. All right. It's like bourbon. No? Ooh. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Mm. Mm. It's one of these cups you get to keep. Mm -hmm. So we get to carry that around. So that's cool. I'm just going to say overall. Yeah. Even though it sounds cool, the swanky, saucy swine. Not swanky. It's a miss. It's a miss for us. I'm gonna go throw away all this whoop food. Well, next up underneath all of these cool posters here in the Epcot experience is the, is the brew wing. Got all kinds of brews and wings. And we ended up with these right here. We got a flight for Jessica. This is a, a sire flight. I got a, some sort of IPA and a couple of baskets of wings. JR, he ended up with the barbecue, right? So he got the barbecue wings. And Jessica got the habanero something or other. We got the, it's like a habanero something wings. So I think they're gonna be spicy. So that's Central, uh, Central 28 Beer Company Groveland. Road Blood Orange IPA from DeBerry, Florida. So that's pretty, that should be pretty good. Yeah, let's find out. Ooh, it's, it's very orangey. It's almost like orange juice. Mmm. That's yummy. There's JR's wings. They look actually pretty good. They look like a pretty decent wing. They got a lot of meat on them. Sometimes you get wings and they just don't have any meat on them. How's the flavor? Is that a good barbecue sauce? That's good. Here's the wings that Jessica got. These are the mango habanero, right? Mango habanero, it sounds spicy. How's that? Are you on fire? I'm asking you with your mouth full of food. So, that's always the best. Not spicy. Is it, it's not spicy? Well, that's weird. That's good. It's good? That's, that's good. And then Jessica got this cider flight here. So going from left to right, we have the Bold Rock mm -hmm. Honey Crypt, Honey Crisp. Hard cider from Virginia. Then in the middle, we got the Star Cut Ciders, Magpie Hard Cider. Then on the right, we got the Blake's Hard Cider Company Apple Lantern Roasted Pumpkin. That one might have a little pumpkin, but here, this first one is just the regular old Honey Crisp. You know what? We used to get Honey Crisp apples exclusively. If the if the grocery store didn't have Honey Crisp, we didn't get apples. But they're expensive. But they're expensive, so we kind of stopped doing that. I mean, it's sweet, but it's not like crazy sweet. Yeah. Or what about the Magpie Hard Cider? 
This one tastes like applesauce. Applesauce? Yeah. That's fun. I wonder if it really tastes like pumpkin. I feel like it should. Better if it says pumpkin. Let's find out. I taste pumpkin though. Oh, Ooh, look at that, guys. You heard it here first. The but pumpkin cider is not a pumpkin spider. A spider? Whew, that's good. Huh. <sighs> well, that was pretty good. Over at the Epcot Experience, the old brew and wings were now getting some donuts at the donut box. Dog, Jane, Jay, oh, what did you get? It's called the candy jar. Oh, the candy jar. It's got everything? Yeah. Everything. And then from the candy jar. Know, and wow. And we got a water. I'll wash that thing down. So that's the sriracha chicken, chicken donut? Wow. That looks like a thing. Definitely looks like a thing. But this thing is definitely gonna be messy. Look at that. That's ridiculous. It's got all that sauce on there. I'm gonna let you take that the first bite. Oh, I'm taking the first bite? Yep. You, okay. Oh my gosh, this is really messy. you can't put down you have to finish eating it it's really good like the chicken is extra moist what do you want? and the the crunchy like the outside of the chicken crispy. is the extra crispy yes so we got our few drinks here <clears throat> from la cava del tequila we got the, the black magic which is the neil patrick harris concoction jessica got the to Hito Mito Hemotote. Nah, it's got that thing. It's like a tomato drink. And JR got he got a little non-alcoholic. Well non-alcoholic little concoction there that he says it's oh, it's just spicy. Oh, it's just spicy. <laughs> Here's that black magic. That thing looks pretty good, right? Let's see if it tastes that good. Mm. Oh yeah, that is really good. It's got that mezcal in it, so it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of smoky and icy, so it's like fire and ice all in one. How about that? That sounds kind of crazy. But that is delicious though. Mm. Jessica got this tomato drink. I ate the tomato How's that already. thing? pretty good. It's really sweet, but like florally. Florally? Yep. Huh. But it's not as sweet as like other drinks we've hmm. had. Right. The floraliness makes it, tames it. Ah. <laughs> and just like that, we are out of the park. We knocked it out of the park. We knocked ourselves out of the park because yeah. it is brutal today. Hot. It's hot. It feels like it's in the hundreds. We'll do another day where we do some more of the food and wine because there's plenty of, plenty of dishes to be had that we still plan to taste new things and just old things that we like. If you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe if you want to see more. Guys, thanks for joining us today at the uh, opening 2021 season of Food and Wine Festival. Look at that bird. Look, what is that, like a blue heron? He looks like he's, he looks like he's looking for some food and wine. Probably not so much wine, but oh. anyways, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yes, that is pretty cool. <laughs>